haven't, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you are here, that you clicked on this video. I am so excited for this video, as you can probably tell by the title. This is a market prep vlog. I love doing these vlogs. I love market prepping. It's so much fun for me. I get a goal, I have a challenge, I work towards it, and then in the end result is I do a market and I have a lot of fun doing those. Today is currently Monday and the market is on Saturday. I honestly don't have a whole ton to prep and I'm just going to take you along the next couple of days as I just make a few things as I get ready for the market on Saturday. First off, let me just address the fact I have a scratch on my chin. My lovely toddler did that this morning. She was not really enjoying her diaper change, so. There we go. <laughs> Yesterday was Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to um, any father out there or if you, your spouse is a father or whatever. I hope that the uh, Father's Day was very special for you and the fathers in your life. We had a wonderful weekend. We had so much fun. Yesterday on actual Father's Day, we went to a baseball game. It was Ava's first professional baseball game. We went to a Diamondback a Diamondbacks game, um, our Arizona team here, and they won. We did not stay the whole time. We left at the seventh inning. We were having just a blast. It was a great time, but um, Ava was definitely getting very antsy, and my husband's like, we can just leave now, beat the crowds, and I was like, we're having fun. Like, Ava was having a blast. I would just periodically take her out, and we just kind of like run the halls, walk around, that sort of thing, and she was having a great time, um, but my husband's like, we'll just go, and so we left. We got ice cream. Ava had her first cake pop, which she kind of like she doesn't have the biggest sweet tooth she had a few bites and then she was kind of done and we were like she should probably be done so she doesn't have too much sugar but um she also skipped a nap yesterday just because time timing wise with the game and everything like that so she ended up sleeping in like an hour this morning so this morning i got up and i didn't start like crocheting or doing whatever until like six o'clock this morning i was just kind of making coffee and i was taking off my nails and just kind of like doing like random things so i made two octos and i was like hmm, she's still sleeping maybe i'll work out so i worked out it's like she's still sleeping i was like i guess i'll shower and i was like she's still sleeping so i put makeup on i was like just twiddling my thumbs i'm like why is she still sleeping she was so tired so anyways yeah we had a wonderful weekend a great time now it's monday it's time to kind of get the week started i'm really excited to like i said market prep in my last video i said i need to kind of deep clean the house and i did for the most part which i feel so great like i cleaned up like the master closet and like Ava's playroom and just kind of like the main living area. The only thing is our bedroom, which is over here, a mess, lots of laundry and the bathroom is really messy in there. So that's kind of today's project, maybe today, tomorrow. We'll just kind of see how that goes. But while Ava's taking her nap now, I put her down early because she is tired. I'm going to sit down and I am going to kind of go through what I would like to make the next couple of days, what I need to make. I need to get my inventory, kind of count everything like that. I don't know if I want to do that today or tomorrow. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow and then today just kind of like make whatever I want. This morning I went out and I got a new Keurig, which I'm so excited about. Sometimes, I don't know if you can hear in the background of my videos, there's like this clicking noise. That, that was my old Keurig. It was working fine, but it just kind of like had this like clicking noise and it just was kind of slowly dying. So this morning I was like, can I get a new Keurig? My husband was like, yeah. So I went out to Target. We had a great time, me and Ava. And I got a Keurig and I'm so excited. It's one that you can also make iced coffee with, which is great. And so that's perfect. So I'm in the process of kind of like getting that set up. So I'm going to get that all set up and cleaned and make myself a cup of coffee, which I'm so excited about. And then I'm going to sit down and crochet. This morning, like I said, I made two octos. I don't know what I want to make now. I don't know what I need to make are baby sharks. I really need to make baby sharks. And for some reason, I just don't want to. But they're, they, I always sell out. No matter how many I have, I sell out. So I definitely need to make a whole lot of those. At least 10. 10 is a lot. I know I'd sell out of the 10, I think. I don't know. This is a new market on Saturday. It's also indoor. I haven't done an indoor market yet and I have no idea what's it going, what it's going to be like, honestly. So there are quite a few vendors, not a ton. There's like maybe 50 vendors. So you know, it'll, it'll be a good amount of vendors for sure. And it's indoor at a sports complex. So it'll either be like really busy or not busy. I don't know. So obviously with markets, you never know, especially it being the first time for me, like I don't know. So I am curious how it's going to be. And if I do like it, if it does well, because it is indoor, which is great, I might apply for, I think they have a monthly 
throughout the summer, so I might apply for next month. We'll see. But yeah, no, I, I paid for this market like two or three months ago now, um, which is nuts to think about. And now it's finally here and I'm excited, but I have no idea what to expect. I don't know how much inventory I should bring. I am. I'm like 90% sure the only crochet artist there. So that's a plus. That's great. There might be one other, but on the vendors list, like I went through and I couldn't find any other one. So we'll see, but I'm excited. So I do need to start prepping for that. I think I might want to kind of do a different sort of tagging and pricing sort of thing for these for this market just kind of make it very clear pricing wise with what i'm offering and everything like that so that might be in the next couple of days maybe kind of like print out some tags and kind of like do different things but yeah i think for right now i'm gonna go get my coffee i'm going to sit down and i think i just need to kind of crank out some baby sharks honestly so while ava's napping it's my time so i'm gonna crochet and then when she's awake i'm gonna try to clean for some reason i can clean around her and with her and she enjoys cleaning with me she loves getting a rag and kind of like cleaning up so that is a lot easier to do when she's awake and around me than crocheting like I cannot crochet around her one because I feel like I have to just like be very like available and crochet sometimes like it's not or if I'm counting or whatever so there's that then there's the danger of like the hooks and my safety eyes and you know a lot of things that are around that she could get um and then also too like her playing with the yarn and tangling it up there's just a lot of factors that go into me not being able to crochet uh with her around so but with, it's fine like i really i i enjoy having like that dedicated well, while she's napping for me to sit and crochet or at night or whatever like that yeah let me go get my coffee and then we'll probably sit like by the couch maybe i'll watch something i don't know we'll see but i'm gonna go kind of get situated and start crocheting all right here's the coffee let's try this out Mmm, so good. I mean, it kind of tastes the same. Actually, no, it tastes better. It tastes more fresh and a little bit more strong, so it's perfect. The other K, or K cup, the other Keurig that I had was a Keurig Mini, and it was fine, like, but it just took a long time to, like, make a cup, like, a few minutes. Like, you press the button and then it would take a few minutes to brew, and I hadn't really thought much about it, but the second you press the button, it brews. It was so quick. I got the K Elite and it was on sale, so that was perfect. Highly recommend so far after the first cup and you can make iced coffee like I said. Okay, before I jump into crocheting, I just have to say thank you for a thousand subscribers. My mind is blown. I hit a thousand over this weekend and we were so busy with, you know, Father's Day and having a lot of fun that it just didn't really register. But I was like, oh my goodness, I hit a thousand subscribers. Like, that's so many people <laughs> watching my videos and I just sit and crochet I talk about life I also knit which I haven't really talked a lot about knitting recently but I just do a lot of like yarn related videos and talk about life as a mother and just just normal day-to-day -day life and the fact that a thousand people which is just mind-blowing are watching my videos like Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Like just the fact that so many people are commenting and liking and subscribing and just kind of just having this kind of non-judgmental view of me and my life. I just feel just so just so blessed to have so many people loving my videos and, and my life and just watching me and it's just so much fun and I don't feel this pressure of having to you know, obviously I want my videos to be enjoyable for you. Like I want you to enjoy watching them, but I just feel like I can just share my life and just kind of share what's going on with my crochet and knitting journey and and there's so many sweet amazing people out there who are just kind of right along with me and just watching me and just you know obviously some of the stuff i make is awful but no one like I don't, i've never had one nasty comment or like I, it's just i don't know i don't even know what i'm trying to say but it's just such a sweet community here where everyone is just so kind and i just love i love the whole fiber arts community i just think it's just so just welcoming and special and just so fun so thank you so much that means so much to me like you have no clue and um <laughs> because i hit a thousand my channel is now monetized which i'm like that's a whole other i'm just like that's that's insane that's nuts like so <laughs> Uh, full transparency so when it got monetized the first day I made seven cents and I mean that was seven cents more than I had but the whole day like my husband and I kept, or I kept saying to my husband like oh we'll pay for this I just made seven cents today and like like I don't know it was just this funny little joke where I'm like oh you can quit your job now I made seven cents and like it was just so funny it was just such a funny uh sweet thing but just the fact that I like now can make money 
it's insane it's mind-blowing and you know I'm not doing this like to make a whole bunch of money I don't want to be this crazy big youtuber like that's never been a goal of mine but just I just wanted to share my video and the fact that um, we're creating just this sweet community over here it just it just means so much to me so thank you so much so let's start crocheting <laughs> I feel like I have a lot to do, but at the same time, not really. I was kind of going through all of my yarn scraps and stuff in my yarn closet and kind of organizing it. And I'm being really good at working through my stash. Like, I, I'm working through the yarn that I have, and I'm very excited about it. So, I have, like, these two little random things, and I kept them thinking, like, what am I going to make with them? I can make at least probably two octos out of here. Definitely one. So, I can do some octos for sure. I also thought it would be fun to do, like, a series, I guess, on this channel of me working through my yarn stash like trying to make stuff with the yarn that I have and I do have a lot of like random like cotton yarns as well I made a lot of tops at one point if you watched my videos a while ago you would have seen that and I have them down at my sister's shop she's in Florida she has a shop down there that she has them and she's been selling a few of them so someone's buying them which I think is great but I kind of feel like maybe not making any more at the moment so with all of that yarn i thought maybe i'll make some dish towels or something just kind of like trying to use up all of my scraps and my yarn and just trying to work through what i have so that that would be a fun video to kind of um, make stuff with the yarn that i have so right now i'm going to make some baby sharks i have my blue and i have my white so i'm gonna make i'm gonna try to get at least five right now they only take like 10 minutes honestly but yeah i'm gonna try to get at least five blues right now so i'm gonna get comfy oh i thought i got fuzz and my coffee i don't think i did i think we're good that's definitely a hazard having my coffee around every time i go to take a step i always make sure i don't have any yarn fuzzies in there or yarn bits or whatever okay i am going to make some baby sharks and i think i might turn a see i can make an octo out of this but i don't think i want to use white for octo maybe i'll make I'll use it for something i kind of want to watch something i don't know my husband and i started watching hawaii 5 last night it's like a, a favorite show of ours like we watch we watch i think we've seen the whole the whole show i think over the past few years i've definitely have started it over and watched like the first few episodes and then stopped and then started it over so i don't know i love that show so maybe i'll turn that on i was watching chesapeake shores on hallmark maybe i'll watch some of that or just watch a youtube video i don't know but i'm gonna leave you here for now i'm going to try to bust out a bunch of baby sharks <laughs> and yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do for right now. Okay, I've tried to film this so many times that I just probably need to just stop and pick it up tonight. It's afternoon time. We're up. We are... Lunch has been had. Uh, while Ava was napping, I made three baby sharks and two octos. My husband came home for lunch, which was really fun. That never, ever happens. So he was here, and then I was able to clean one of the bathrooms. I need to finish up some laundry, clean up my vanity, and just kind of like do things like that this afternoon. Tonight, I don't know yet what I'm going to work on to prep for the market. I'll probably make at least a couple baby sharks. I just want to like make a few every day this week. And then I need to for sure go through all of my inventory, see what I have, count up everything. So maybe tomorrow we'll do that. That can be tomorrow's project. I know I need to make a couple whales and it might be it so it might be something tonight maybe i'll make a couple baby sharks and then maybe like peruse pinterest and see if there's anything fun that i want to to work on like i said i really don't think that this market is going to be exceptionally busy with foot traffic so my expectations are very low but i still want to be prepared of course so i'm just going to make what i can so that's the update i watched Yay! like half an episode of hawaii 50 such a fun show i love that show so i watched a little bit of that so maybe i'll finish up that episode tonight and then find something fun to work on i've been working on my bead blanket it's been so fun i've got like 20 rows so like maybe this much did you see the fly yeah there's a fly going around you see it there it is yeah yeah, I've been working on that. That's been such a fun project to do, honestly. I've been loving that bead blanket. I just do like a couple rows a day. It's so fun and it's just so therapeutic. It's easy to like pick up and put down. I definitely am going to be working on it throughout the summer. Um, hopefully in the next few months I'll have it done. But yeah, like I said, just a row here or there. A water bottle. It's a water bottle. It's so cold with all the ice in there. Yeah. So anyways, I'm going to go make myself another cup of coffee. This will be cup number two and a half. I think that the coffee is 
so much better. I feel like I could definitely taste a difference between this Keurig and my old one. I am loving it. Definitely, it's been fun so far. Anyways, I'm going to go make me a cup of coffee, work on the laundry. I know the dishwasher going, I just realized. So I'm gonna go kind of tidy up, play with this one, just have a fun afternoon and home at home inside because it's really hot outside, so. Uh, yeah, is it hot? Yeah. That's the update for now. I will try to do a little bit tonight. You see the fly? All right, I'll go get the fly. Okay, that's all for now. I was going back to edit this video and this clip where I'm sitting here talking about these turtles somehow the sound was not working but basically I had just spent the past the night before and this morning working on this turtle I will have the pattern on the screen above but it's this kind of newfound pattern that I am loving and I've been making a whole bunch of them well four of them but here they are here. I just wanted to show you those and I'm having a lot of fun making those for the next okay, market. Eva is still sleeping. She is out. She hasn't moved. So I ended up making cornbread. I mopped the floors. I got makeup on. I was able to sit down I'm at my vanity right now. I was able to sit down and watch a YouTube video and put on makeup. So that's great. So she's still sleeping. So I feel like I am able to get a lot of things done this morning. You can see behind me, you can't even see the worst of it. But I have a ton of laundry that I need to do today. Um, I need to clean um, the other bathroom today as well. And then I think today we'll head to the library for story time. Um, Ava has been doing a summer reading program, so she has a prize to pick up. So we'll pick that up today. And then I think right now, actually, um, since she's still sleeping, I'm going to get out my inventory and I'm just going to kind of set it out on the bed and kind of go through everything and, you know, see how far I get. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that now, actually. Okay, so here is everything here on the bed. This Aldi bag here, that's actually a knitting project that I just keep keeping on the bed so Ava won't get into it and get the knitting needles out. So I need to find a permanent home for that. I need, actually, I just need to put it back in the closet. But so we've got this tub full of things and then these are full of items as well. I'm thinking for this market, actually, I am not gonna bring like the things that aren't selling, like my bucket hats don't sell, my bandanas don't sell. So I might bring a couple, but not put them out. So I don't know. So I think what I'm gonna do is take everything out here and organize it, go through it, count it up. I have my notebook here to write it all down. So let's go ahead and do that.
Okay, so everything is all laid out. And so now what I'm going to go do is count how many I have of everything. Write it all down. Get all the prices down and everything. Kind of see what I need to tag. What I'm going to write down on like a one of my like chalkboard signs. Um, also too, yes, I am wearing the shirt again. I wore this yesterday. I'm wearing it again today. So, you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to go see everything that I have, see if I need to make anything else. I know for sure baby sharks, obviously, but I mean, for one market, this is more than plenty. These are just my plushies. Like I said, I have like my, ban my bandanas, bucket hats, my scrunchies, like random things like that that don't sell as well. So I might bring a few of those to have, maybe, maybe not. Otherwise, just bringing my stuffed animals. So let's go ahead and do a quick inventory. <music> So I just did a quick um, count of everything. I have three ducks, six baby sharks, four baby turtles, eight large turtles, four cats, 13 octos, which I did not realize I made that many. I have one ice cream plushie, nine chickens. I have three bunnies, two big ones and one small one. So I am going to price those differently. I have two possum snugglers. I have one lamb lovey, which I don't know if I showed you that. So let me show you that real quick. I had started this in one of my past videos and I don't know if I ever showed you the finished product. So this is from the Mama Made Mini. Okay, where was I? Let's see here. The Lamb Lovey. So yeah, from the Mama Made Mini. So there's that one. But I don't know pricing wise just because I kind of, I don't know. I'm thinking 35. I know that's low. But if it would mean that it would sell rather than not sell, just because, like I said, this is my last market that I have signed up. So I don't know if, you know, I don't know. So we'll see. Okay, then let's see here. I have a duck lovey. I have a mermaid. I have four snakes. I have a bear lovey, which, you know, I've taken this to a couple markets. I think I'm going to just lower the price, see if I can get that sold. Um, and then I have one whale. I definitely think that I'm going to make a couple more whales because I do think that they're really cute. But you can kind of see that it is uneven here. So I think that's kind of why people have not been purchasing it. So um, I might put this on sale or something. I don't know. Or just not bring it and just make more. But that is what I have so far. So now what I need to do is calculate how much all of this could potentially be. So I have my phone here. I also want to get the monitor. Ava is. She's still sleeping. Oh, she's stirring now. I think I jinxed it. Um, wow, it's almost 8 o'clock. 7.30 is like a pretty normal, like, 7, 7 is like her average time to wake up. 6.30 is super early. 7 is normal. 7.30 is late. It's almost 8 o'clock. It's like 7.45. I've been able to get a lot done this morning. And I put her down at like 6 last night, so she's gotten lots of sleep. So what I'm going to do is just very, very quickly calculate how much everything of this would be. Okay, so right now my inventory is $830, which is a lot, and that's not including the whale. I know I still need to make some baby sharks just because I know that those are going to sell. Other things may or may not sell, but baby sharks I know are going to sell. So for sure I need to make baby sharks. But other than that, like I feel like I've got more than enough stuff. I'm not entirely sure table wise if I am bringing my own tables or if they are providing it I kind of feel like they're providing it at least that's what it kind of seemed like so today's Tuesday the market Saturday I haven't gotten an email from them I don't know if this market sends it out on Friday like the day before most of them do that some of them do a week before so I'm not sure how they're going to do that um, but I'm still I'll for sure bring my tables at least just to kind of see there is all of my inventory um $830 worth of inventory which is um a ton and honestly i just the market it's 70 dollars to be there which is the highest i've ever paid for a market so my goal is just to make 70 and if i make 70 i'm happy if i make more than that i'm ecstatic so 
those are my expectations i'm gonna go ahead put all this stuff away organize it go from there so yeah i'm excited to have gotten everything done i think i'm going to put tags on like the loveys and the bunnies and then all the other plushies i'll just have a sign for them I'm gonna work on that today. Um, Ava is now officially awake. She was tired. I think this weekend wore her out. We did a lot of fun things over the weekend, so I think she's catching up on um, some sleep. So I was able to get a lot of things done before she woke up this morning, and I feel very, very pleased about that. Now I gotta organize this, put this all away, figure out pricing, tagging, everything like that. I'm pretty much ready for this market, so I need to stop making these baby turtles. I made four. Four is plenty. Um, I need to make some more baby sharks. So, I don't know if you can hear her. She's singing. Bad Bad Black Sheep is her favorite song right now. So she loves to sing that one. It's kind of resting still. I'll kind of give her a little bit. So, okay. That's all for now. I'm excited. I feel very accomplished. I feel basically 100% ready for this market other than pricing. So, I'm excited. All right. I will leave you here. You know what, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here because I am pretty much all ready for this market. I, of course, need to make some baby sharks do pricing, but um, I'll probably work on that today, tomorrow, and that's it. So I'm gonna leave you here, actually, before this video gets way too long, and then I will pick up this video in the next couple of days and take you along on the actual market day. I probably won't be doing a lot of filming market day, but I will try. But I am excited to see how this market goes. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you so much for watching it. I really do appreciate it. If you have any markets coming up, good luck to you. I hope that you have a whole lot of fun because that's important to have fun. Um, making money is also equally fun. I hope that you have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.